वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल साइंटिफिक अंडर स्कोर मैथ वी आर स्टडिंग शिफ्टेड पावर मैथड एंड इन दी प्रीवियस टू लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड द इंट्रोडक्शन टू दिफ्टेड पावर मैथड एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल यूजिंग द शिफ्टेड पावर मैथड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू राइट अ मैथ लैब कोड फॉर द शिफ्टेड पावर मैथड ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट first we write the initial commands clc clear all close all and format short to get solution up to four decimal places okay so next we write the initial information that is the given matrix a and this is our starting vector x not and next we will write a given lambda that is the uh, dominant eigen value of this matrix and we will find the smallest eigen value of this matrix using the shifted power method okay so here we have t that is tolerance in the solution and uh, here i have used the command to get the length of the matrix a because i want to generate a uh, vector uh, column uh, the vector ma uh, column matrix of same length as the matrix a have so uh, for uh, this, that is tolerance is equal to t over which t is into once n a means length of the matrix a and comma 1 means this will generate a column uh, vector of uh, length of size matrix a and uh, okay so next i will uh, generate an identity matrix of the same size as the matrix a have okay next i will initializing that is the ki and uh, x so when i is equal to 1 we have a given vector starting vector x not that is one this is the starting vector given vector okay so when uh, we have a first iteration i is equal to 1 we have a starting vector that is x not and uh, after that we have initial assum error assumption in the solution that is this one next we will start loop and uh, when this this while loop will end with this end and uh, when this condition is true then um, then iterations will be stop okay so we have an iterative equation of shifted power method that is this one this is the shifted matrix into the starting vector x not when i will be is equal to 1 okay so after getting the new vector we will normalize this vector how we can normalize this vector okay so normalizing the obtained vector that is new vector x and first we obtain the greatest value of the new obtained vector and this will give the position of this greatest value that is v for example we have a matrix like that minus 1 2 and minus 3 okay so first we take absolute of this vector and then we will take the maximum value of this vector for example in this case we have this one and its mean v will be minus 3 and this j will get the position of this vector like the position of this uh, value in this vector is third okay so this mean this will store the uh, greatest value of the vector and this j will be store the position of the greatest value okay because we want to normalize this vector okay so after this one uh, this uh, x and means new vector that is obtained vector x this one okay so here i have given the name to the new vector x of i plus 1 okay 
so after this one we will normalize this vector by dividing the largest value of this vector of this vector for example we divide this vector x of i plus 1 divided by the divided by this matrix this vector by x of n j means uh, the largest value of this vector j means in this for example in this case minus 1 2 and minus 3 here this is the third value okay so uh, we divide this vector by this one j here is 3 in this case okay so normal uh, normalization of the obtained vector and next we have a lambda shifted and uh, lambda shifted is again the largest value in this vector that will give us okay so next we have this is the normalized vector t is equal to x of i x of i okay so next we want to check the error in the solution so that's why we will minusing the new vector minus the previous vector and here we are finding the error in the solution by using the infinity norm okay so after this one uh, we uh, go back to the new iteration if uh, this condition is not true okay so similarly after this one when we get our desired value and when the number of iteration is stopped okay so then when this condition is true we want to get the smallest value so the smallest eigenvalue is equal to the lambda shifted plus the given lambda means the greatest eigenvalue the largest eigenvalue of the given matrix so okay so after this one we want to print our uh, the smallest value eigenvalue and the corresponding eigenvector okay so in this case we have a three cross uh, one uh, okay so one cross three that is the row vector, row matrix okay so for this one i used these values i used this one and uh, here you can see that the smallest value and comma this is the normalized vector okay so i will print this one and uh, if you want to plot your error uh, error that is in the our solution so for this one i use this one and this one to get error in vector form okay so uh, okay so next if you want to uh, draw a table of number of iterations and uh, the shift lambda number of iterations okay number of iteration lambda shifted okay and corresponding eigenvector okay eigenvector and the error in the solution so for this one okay i will use uh, this command okay so first i will disp use for num iteration number lambda normalized vector and error so and here i have used the f printf command to display all these results so here you can see that percentage 3i this one and again i will again here this is the normalized vector and that is row row vector order of 3 cross 1 uh, sorry 1 cross 3 okay so this will sh uh, give us uh, results in table form number of iterations lambda shifted and this is the corresponding eigen vector and uh, this one is the error in the solution okay so i will show you these with the help of uh, uh, by running these uh, this code in matlab okay so now we will uh, we want to plot the error so to plot the error we have these commands okay so uh, let's run this code on matlab so this is the matlab code for the shifted power method and let's run this code okay so uh, this is the graph of uh, error decay in the solution you can see that as the number of iteration increasing the error in the solution is decreasing okay so here we have a table 
for number of iteration lambda shifted normalized vector and error you can see that as the number of iterations as the number of iteration is increasing the error in the solution is decreasing and completely zero after eight iterations okay so after uh, uh, the condition while condition is true uh, we have the smallest eigenvalue is this one and the corresponding eigenvector is this one in a row row matrix form okay so you can write uh, it as in vector form okay so thank you so much for watching my video and uh, you can watch the previous lectures on my youtube channel